We, we had a problem. We don't know that. I've got a feeling we've lost two fuel cells. It's uh, slowly going to zero and... Uh... When you're in outer space with no life around you at all, there are a thousand different ways that things can go terribly wrong. Do you expect that we're going to be in a thermal problem for the next many hours? The well, thing that concerns me is starting is throwing equipment. In this video, we'll be going through some of the scariest space accidents that might just scare astronauts to this day. Number 10, Apollo 13. On July 24, 1969, NASA and the United States made history when the Apollo 11 crewed spacecraft landed on the moon, and Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins became the first three men to step foot on the moon. In the years to come, NASA would send numerous other missions to the moon, but one such mission, Apollo 13, lives on in infamy. In 1970, Apollo 13 was meant to become the seventh crewed mission to the moon. However, things didn't go as planned. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank located in the service module failed, which could have even caused the service module to explode. The crew decided to abandon the moon landing and instead looped around the moon before making an extremely dangerous journey back to the Earth. The spacecraft could only sustain the crew for two days, but thanks to help from Mission Control in Houston, it was able to sustain them for over four days, despite limited water, power, and unfavorable cabin conditions. Number 9. Voshka 2 Spacewalk It was the mid-1960s with the US and the Soviet Union in the middle of an intense space race that at this point, the Soviets were dominating. In March of 1965, the Soviet Union hit another milestone, when Alexei Leonov performed the first spacewalk. While this may have been one of the most iconic moments of the space race, what many people don't know about this is how it almost ended up in a disaster. Going out into space caused Leonov's spacesuit to balloon, and when he tried to re-enter the Voshka 2 spacecraft, he simply couldn't fit through the door. He eventually had to squeeze his way into the spacecraft, and when he did, the door wouldn't seal shut. Eventually, the crew was able to seal the door and avoid what would have been an utter disaster. Number 8. Mir-18 Accident In 1995, during the Mir-18 mission, astronaut Norman Thagard was using specially created exercise equipment to perform deep knee bends. It consisted of a strap of elastic that would go around the foot to create some resistance. One day, the elastic ended up sliding off of his foot and shooting right at his eye. Thagard was left with a horrible eye injury. He was in immense pain and was not able to look directly into light something you have to do a lot of in space. Thankfully, there were steroid eye drops available at the space station, and he was eventually able to heal due to them. Number 7. Apollo Soyuz Test Project Gas Leak In 1975, the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States became a lot less intense, and the two superpowers even ended up launching a joint mission together, the first collaboration between the two in history. The Apollo-Soyuz test project with two spacecraft took off in July of 1975, and for the most part it was flawless. It was a massive display of coexistence and growing relations between the Soviets and the Americans. However, as the two spacecraft were making their way back to the Earth, the American Apollo spacecraft suffered a malfunction in its reaction control system upon re-entry, which caused poisonous nitrogen tetroxide to leak into the cabin where all the astronauts were. It wasn't until the spacecraft landed that it was able to ventilate, but luckily, all of the crew survived the ordeal, although they suffered from a form of chemically caused pneumonia for the next few weeks. Number 6. ISS Expedition 36 This is a rather recent accident when compared to some of the other accidents on our list. In 2013, Luca Parmitano, an Italian astronaut that was working at the International Space Station for the ESA, went outside of the ISS to conduct a spacewalk and with him, he took a drinking bag. While he was outside, his spacesuit began to take in some water, and eventually his helmet began to fill with water floating all around him. He wasn't able to see, hear, or speak to any other astronaut around him. As it turned out, he couldn't just drink the water because it wasn't actually from his drinking bag, but a leak from a liquid coolant, which was absolutely not safe to drink. He continued the spacewalk for an hour before getting back to the ISS completely unharmed. Number 5. Soyuz 1 At this point in our list, we get to some of the more serious and gruesome space accidents, so beware. Vladimir Komarov, a Soviet cosmonaut, was the first man to ever command a spaceflight that carried more than one passenger. He was a national hero to the Soviet Union, 
and in 1967 he would go on to pilot the first flight of the first generation Soyuz 7K OK spacecraft. However, all didn't go as planned for the mission as the Soyuz spacecraft was plagued with problems. While making its way back to the Earth, the Soyuz 1 spacecraft's parachutes failed, causing it to crash into the Earth with Komarov in it. He became the first man to ever die during a space mission, and it led to some major overhauls in the Soyuz program. Number 4. Intelsat 708 After the fall of the Soviet Union in the early 90s, a new entrant emerged in the now global space race, China. China sought to establish itself as a player in the space race, and it looked towards the United States for help. China partnered with American company Intelsat to launch a satellite called the Intelsat 708 from the Xinjiang Satellite Launch Center, which would use the Chinese Long March 3B launch vehicle. Disaster struck immediately. Shortly after launch, the launch vehicle began to go off course in a tilt, eventually falling on a nearby village and exploding. The accident took the lives of six villagers, making it the worst space-related incident in Chinese history. The Long March 3B launch vehicle would eventually be modified and go on to complete 73 successful launches. Number 3. Soyuz 11 By 1971, the Soviet Union had established the world's first space station, Salyut 1, and the Soyuz 11 made history on June 7, 1971, when it successfully became the first manned mission to the space station itself. After completing the main part of the mission, it was time to go back to the Earth for the three cosmonauts aboard to a hero's welcome on June 29th. During the journey back home, the cabin capsule depressurized, causing the crew to lose all of their oxygen. While the spacecraft itself remained entirely intact, it automatically continued its journey to the Earth, successfully landing in Kazakhstan with a recovery crew and national media waiting for them. However, when the recovery team opened the spacecraft, they found three dead bodies. Georgi Dobrovolsky, Vladislav Volkov, and Viktor Patsayev are still to this day the only men to have ever died within space, although the reasons for their deaths wouldn't be made public until years later. Number 2. Space Shuttle Columbia Disaster The Space Shuttle Columbia was always a reliable spacecraft for NASA, and by 2003 it had successfully served NASA for over 22 years. In 2003, Space Shuttle Columbia was on its 28th mission to space in a journey that mostly went without any hiccups. However, as the spacecraft was attempting to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, a piece of foam insulation broke off from the spacecraft and hit the leading edge of its left wing, leading to an explosion that caused the spacecraft to disintegrate. All seven crew members on board were killed in the accident, tying it for the deadliest space disaster in history. Number 1. Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster The Space Shuttle Challenger was only the second space shuttle to ever fly into space, with its first flight in 1983. It went on to become highly successful for NASA, making 10 trips to space with no accidents at all. In 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger was set to make its 10th trip to space, and the launch would be broadcasted live around the world, with school children all over the US watching it at school as it also carried Krista McAuliffe who would be the first teacher and civilian to go into space. However, things didn't go as planned. Only 73 seconds into its flight, the Space Shuttle Challenger disintegrated, killing all seven crew members on board. It became a national tragedy, one that almost 50% of school children in the United States watched happen live. That's a wrap for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. See you next time.